is Casual Savage here and in this video I'll be showing you how to create a shockwave effect in Vegas Pro 15. So here we are in Vegas Pro 15 and I have the same clip you saw at the start of the video. So the first thing you want to do is of course insert your video into Vegas Pro 15 and then you want to find the part where you want this explosion to happen or the shockwave. So for the example of course I use an explosion because it looks good with that. So I'm going to just skip a few frames and right here I want it to start. All I'm going to do is press M on my keyboard to lay down a marker. Then we need to right click and insert a new video track. From here head over to media generators and from media generators come up to the left and select color gradient. From here you want the elliptical ring, just drag and drop this onto that same video track. Now. Once this has been added, you can see this is how it will look and that is fine. What you want to do is X out of it and then you want to head over to compositing mode on that same video track. So come up to these lines, select compositing mode and you want to change this to custom. Now this will pop up and what we're going to be selecting is Vegas height map. So just left click it, select add and select OK. Now height map will open up here and this is where we get a bit more control and you can see the shockwave is slowly forming together. So first of all you want the edge pixel handling to be changed to wrap pixels round. Now you notice this gap here now we will be fixing that and the way you're going to be fixing that is by adjusting the elevation. So currently it's set to 0.1 all I'm going to do is bring that down you'll notice as I bring it down it disappears. So there we go, that is how I want it and that is how I'm going to keep it. So we can now X out of this, we will be coming back to it. We need to choose how long we want this shockwave to last for. So for example, I'm going to come across and right here, I'm going to stop it just here. So I'm going to trim this down like that. Then we're going to head back over to media generator or generated media. Another way you can right click and select edit generated media. This will open back up as you'll see right here. And what we're going to be doing now is some animating using keyframes. So at the bottom left, you can see it says animate, just select that. So now what you want to do is come up here and select match event length. So select that and you can see that has adjusted this time and that's exactly what we wanted. Now for this first keyframe just drag this across to the end. Then on this very first keyframe make sure you do have sync cursor highlighted and make sure you are at the very beginning. You'll see we have three numbers one two and three. All we're going to do is bring them to the center. As you can see it's being adjusted live so you'll notice it should look something like this. There we go. So just there. That's how I'm going to have it. And believe it or not, we're actually done. So I'll play this through. As you can see, that is how we can create the shockwave effect. So I'll play it through in frames so there's no lag. So you can see as the explosion happens, the shockwave is also forming. And there it is, just slowly coming out like that. And it goes off screen. Of course you can probably add a fade out so it's a bit more smoother so it doesn't just disappear so you can see it looks like that a bit more smoother and of course depending on the length of your shockwave you can make it long you can make it quicker it is completely optional now in the description i will also be providing a bass boom so you can add to the explosion to create more of an impact it'll look a lot better i did also use it in the intro and of course, having some good music will work as well. If you don't want music, at least add the bass boom because it does make a massive improvement. Now, the video you saw at the start is this same video I have just created for you. So you know how it looks with no lag and you can tell it does turn out very nice.